everybody, this is Scott Gustafson from Vital MX. Today we're at American Honda. We have our 2019 CRF 450R test bike, and we want to show you a way that you can make your Honda handle better for no money at all. Real easy way to do this is to retorque all of your engine mounts and swing arm pivot. Essentially, after you've been riding a little bit, the bike itself will move a little and if you loosen them up and retorque them, you'll find it'll improve the handling greatly. And it's especially important on the new bike because we have a different chassis here from the 17 and 18. This 19 chassis is really precise and just something as simple as torquing everything so you get the right flex characteristic is gonna make your ride so much better. The tool list for this job is a ratchet, uh, some extensions, a 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, and 22 millimeter socket. You're gonna to wanna to have your owner's manual so you can get all the proper torque specs, and you're gonna to wanna to have a good torque wrench. To do this job, it's real simple. You're just gonna start by loosening up all of your engine mounts, uh, your 12 millimeter bolts that are here, 12 millimeter bolts in the front of the frame, your 14 millimeter bolt that connects the front of the engine, 14 millimeter bolt on the bottom, and you have a 22 millimeter uh, nut on the other side of the swing arm pivot right here. Now I'm gonna switch over to a 14 millimeter socket. Now when you're loosening everything up, there's no real order to how you want to loosen it. But when you do tighten everything back together and torque everything, there's a set pattern you're wanting to do first things first. So. Now you can hear the engine creak when you loosen everything up. Finally, you're gonna to switch to a 22 millimeter and you're gonna loosen up the socket or the nut on the swing arm. If you have trouble uh, with the rear brake lever, you can push the brake caliper in and that'll give you a lot more room for the brake lever to move down. And again, you can hear that frame unloading. Got all the engine mounts uh, and bolts loose. So what I want to do in this order is I'm going to tighten um, the bolts that pinch the mounts to the frame first, meaning I'm going to tighten these two 12 millimeter bolts first and then these two 12 millimeter bolts second. These top engine hanger bolts, they're torqued to 19 foot pounds. I'm going to do them gradually back and forth and you can tell that 19 foot-pounds isn't very much. That's all there is. Next, we're gonna do these two 12 millimeter engine mounts in the front. I'm doing these next because these also pinch these hangers to the frame itself. The manufacturer's spec is 24 foot-pounds. Now, if the bolt is spinning, you're gonna to have to hold it from the other side or have a friend do that for you. Okay, now in order to get to this um, cylinder head bolt here, uh, we need to remove the pipe, so we've done that. Those are torqued to 19 foot-pounds. Now that um, the hangers are tightened to the frame, we're gonna tighten the hangers to the engine. You're gonna start with this 12 millimeter on top. The torque spec is 40 foot-pounds. Next, you're gonna move to this front engine hanger, and that's a 14 millimeter, but it's also 40 foot-pounds. Finally, you'll torque this final engine bolt down here. It's 14 millimeter set to 40 foot-pounds. Last thing we're gonna tighten down is the swing arm pivot here. 
The, man, the manufacturer's suggested torque is 65 foot-pounds. So that's it for that tech tip. It's really simple. Just by retorquing the engine mounts on this bike, you'll find that it will improve handling and it's almost as significant as having your suspension refreshed. It's that good. So I really recommend doing it. Also, if you're the type of rider that likes to experiment a little bit, you might try um, altering the uh, recommended torques by say five or 10% and see if there's a setting you'd like to come up with. Just by doing that, you might find some additional flex in the frame that gives you more rider comfort. Uh, so, and then the one important thing to remember in this, there's really no order to loosening everything, but when you're tightening, tighten the mounts that pinch to the frame first, and then tighten your engine hangers to the engine itself, uh, the bottom engine mount, and then the swing arm pivot, and you'll find that your bike works much, much better. If you like the videos you're seeing, would like to see more, let us know. You can also subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button, and you'll see these videos more often. Thanks a lot from Vital MX. Thank you.